Hey, my name is Charlotte Whiting and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Yay! Um, I've been waiting a while to create this um, and create my channel. Um, I just kind of wanted to get my confidence up speaking to a camera. And I think I'm kind of there. Um, so yeah, this is the look that we created today. Um, just kind of to film a little chill with me, get to know me, get glam with me. Um, which is what I'm kind of all about. Um, so yeah, I am a makeup artist. I am 17. I am soon to be qualified um, at level two in a makeup artistry, hair and special effects makeup. Um, so lots of exciting stuff are coming. Um, lots of exciting videos. So if you want to see how I created this look today, then carry on watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now that I am at my baby face self, I am going to firstly prep my skin. So I am using, where's the front? The LM Lemon Superfood All-in-One Rescue Butter. Um, this was gifted from me, so it's from Dr. Botanicals. Um, so this is basically like a moisturiser. I love this stuff and it smells delish. And I'm just gonna rub this all on my skin. I don't do much to prep my skin because I've done all my skincare this morning. So I'm now going to go in with a spray that I think everyone and their mother owns. It's a classic. Everyone needs it in their life. It's the Mario Badescu spray. So I'm just going to spray this on. Watch my ugly spray face. It's not good. I'm refreshed. Right. Now to prime because we all know not to prime is a crime. So I'm using the Strawberry Whip I Heart Revolution Pore Blurring Primer. It's kind of like a, this would be good for um, a no makeup makeup look as well because it's kind of like a BB cream I would say. I know they do different things but because they've kind of got a, it's kind of got a foundation coloured main point, especially my nose because that's where I have all of my large pores. Because this is a glam look, I'm going to go in with a second primer. I'm using the Collection Primed and Ready Matte Primer. So this is a spray. Lovely. So now we are set, we are primed, we are ready to start the makeup. So I'm going to start off with my brows. Um, I am using the Rimmel Brow This Way. I use that one. It's kind of like a wax. Look at me, I'm so YouTuber-y. <laughs> Just taking an angled brush. Getting some product and then just kind of dabbing the eyebrow brush onto my hand to try and help make the bright bristles nice and thin. What I do is I'm just drawing a line underneath my brow. There we go, once I'm happy with the line underneath my brow, I just brush the product up into the hairs. And then I am going to the top of the brow and creating the arch shape that I want. So I've not really spoken much about me yet, so I'm just going to do a little chat about me and what I'm all about while I do my other eyebrow. So I am 17 years old. I am currently studying, well not at the moment obviously, because of the big bad word that I can't say, but we all know what's going on. The big germ that is outside. Um, so I do study makeup artistry in college. Um, I am soon to be qualified at level two. And then next year I'm going on to do special effects makeup. Um, my sort of end goal with my makeup career would be working on a set, um, doing sort of special effects makeup mostly. I do love normal makeup as well, um, but special effects has always been sort of what I've gone to. So I just have a, I've had a passion for makeup, literally since I can remember. Um, I think I was about three years old and picking up one of those little baby um, makeup things that you get at like Christmas and stuff. I've always loved it. I've always you know watched it. I've still got you know a way to go because I feel like even the top makeup artists that you don't stop learning ever 
and I just want to constantly be learning. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm a makeup lover, a massive makeup lover. Um, this channel I kind of want to be mostly makeup, um, sort of fashion maybe, um, maybe some vlogs, uh, creative makeup, you know, tutorials. Just sort of a chill with me, you know. I'm not sure how my editing's gonna be yet. I've edited some IGTVs, um, but nothing much. So if the editing on this is rubbish, I do apologise. So now I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer to carve out the bottom of my eyebrow. And prime my lids with another classic, the P. Louise Base. This is in shade Room 2. So just priming my lids with that. Because I'm going to do the fox eye look, um, I'm going to bring up my primer up onto my temples. Now for me, this is the most satisfying thing. I don't know why. But I'm now taking a big fluffy brush and you can see it's kind of like it's not really patted, patted in where I've put on the primer. I'm just going to sit and pat all of this in. So today I'm going to use one of my favourite palettes ever. This is the Manny MUA Luna Beauty Life's a Drag Palette. They've been so used and abused, but it's so amazing. It's so versatile. Look at that. Oh my god, that red does not look good. I'm going to start off using a shade of Sickening. It is this beigey colour here. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid pretty much. I'm going to go in with a sort of angled brush and use shade mug Whoop. using shade mug there this brown shade and i'm just going to kind of like doing a wing um but not as um precise so kind of you can be as messy as you want really with this i know that's crazy now just got to trust the process and then i'm kind of taking it and putting it over the top of the lid Help add some definition into there. Now I'm going to go in with shade Hunty, this sort of grey here. So I just sort of up the top here and bring it down, kind of like creating a smoky cut crease. I'm going to use the most gorgeous shade, I think, which is Beat, this pretty pink here. I'm just taking a flat brush. I haven't cut the crease because I want this to be a smoky look. So I'm just going to go in with this and cut the crease. Just Now for eyeliner, I'm using the collection, collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner. I'm just going to draw a line along my lash line. Oh, this is fine. So just drawing a So I'm just taking an angled brush and then the shady shade, which is black, and I'm going to go over. So I'm going to create my wing actually just using a black. And I'm going to bring it up as high as I want it. I'm quite dramatic, so I'm going to have mine quite high. And then bring it back down to meet the eyeliner. And then I'm literally going to use whatever I have left on the brush to smoke it all up and out with the brown shade in mug and just blend that out even more. So I'm now going to go in and do the skin. Um, I am going to show you. Oh, oh, the <laughs> what happened there? Um, I'm going to do the Scott Barnes way of doing your glam face. So I'm going to put my contour underneath my foundation today. 
So just using a concealer and a flat brush. I think it's really good for people that are a bit too scared of cream contour. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you this way of doing your cream contour. So I'm using the Morphe FX16 contour stick and um, you can search up your face shape and how to do contour for your face shape and use your finger to feel where your cheekbone is so mine's about there can we just say how pretty are them flowers in the back i got them from my boyfriend a flat brush I'm going to push it into the skin. I'm not going to rub it. I'm going to push it and upwards into the skin. Being absolutely crazy. I'm now going to take my foundation. I'm using the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation from Maybelline. This stuff is awesome. I really love it. I'm using a brush. Honestly, if you use a beauty blender for your makeup, try a brush. Just try it. It is amazing. Um, a little bit more about me. Um, so I'm from England, if you can already tell. Um, I live in Suffolk in a small little town. Um, I it's kind of near London. My next video, I'm going to do a Q and A, just so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better. I know this foundation shade isn't perfect. Um, I don't really want to go into town if I can help it. Um, but once the rest of my makeup is on, it does look completely fine, so don't worry. My phone's run out of storage and cut out. I had a heart attack that all my filming was going to go to waste. But we're safe, we're good. So hopefully it doesn't cut out again. Lucian Concealer and Hydrate Concealer. And then going in with a fluffy brush and dabbing that all in. I don't bake. Um, I think that baking beneath my eyes makes them so dry. A little bit of the Rimmel powder all over my face just to set in completely. And now to bronze, which I love. I love bronzing. I'm using the Revolution Matte Base Powder P13 and a sort of angled brush. And then I'm just focusing this just on top of where I placed my bronzer, not my bronzer, my contour. <laughs> Clearly I'm not very with it today. Revolution palette, I am using, it's a bit of one to one, I don't actually know. Revolution blush, sugar and spice, you know. Sugar and spice, everything nice. I'm using the peachy shade, this one here. It's just on top of the bronzer, not too much on the apples of the cheeks. A lot of mistakes that are made are people smile like this and they put their blusher on, but no one's smiling constantly. And if you're the happiest person, which is I'm quite I'm smiling all the time, no one smiles constantly. So if you just put your blusher on like this and then you go like that. Your blush is going to drop. So you want to put it on where you have your face naturally. And as you, this look, by the way, is very inspired by Jordan Lipscomb. She is my absolute favourite. And now to be a glowy goddess. I'm using this highlighter here. Basically everywhere because he doesn't want to be glowy going to use the Rimmel Wonderful Brow Brow Gel and just brush all of my eyebrow hairs up. Because I think this is quite a sultry sort of sleek look, I'm just going to take a black eyeliner, this is a MAC one, and just put it on my um, waterline. So if you're squeamish about water lines, look away now. A little bit of the brown shade in it's called Mug Match. I am using the House of Lash London eyelashes. These are very kindly gifted to me. 
look at that packaging that is stunning so what i'm going to do is i learned this trick from jordan lipscomb obviously um so i'm going to put one layer of lash glue on wait for that to go tacky put another lash on no another layer of lash glue on wait for that to go tacky as well and then put the eyelash on um i tried this the other day and i was out traveling and out all day and my eyelashes didn't budge so yes highly recommend this if you are you know well i am also a dancer so having eyelashes that stay is very handy so i'm just using the rimmel scandalize on demand but just anything to make your eyelashes black really i like this because it makes your eyelashes tacky so when i put my false ones on i can use my fingers and pinch the natural lash to the false lash so it may stick together so i'm going to do one for the eyelash Lash. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. Now to finish off with the lips. So I'm going to go with a nude lip today. I'm using a Kylie Combo. They're a little bit used and used, don't judge me. So just going with sort of a brown shade, kind of like a lip liner. I'm just taking the pink and popping that in the center of my lips and then just using my finger and tapping that on I think I'm gonna finish off with a gloss using a X Beauty lip gloss which I was gifted Finishing off with a little bit of all nighter setting spray. Back again with the ugly spray face. And that is this glowy cut eye look complete. Yay! Awesome. I hope that you guys have all felt like you got to know me a little bit better. Um, I'm hopefully going to be uploading twice a week, I think. Um, definitely at least once. Um, so yeah, lots more makeup, um, fashion, uh, lifestyle, maybe some vlogs, that sort of thing coming your way. Um, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe. Obviously, I'm only now starting out. My makeup Instagram is Sharp Whiting Makeup um all of my looks will be posted on there um so if you would like to give me a follow that'd be awesome so make sure you subscribe and click the notifications bell it feels weird to say that after watching everyone say that but thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed bye